Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to cover a subject that I get asked all the time. You move from California to Tennessee, from LA to Nashville. How is that? How, you know, do you like it? You don't like it. What's the difference? So today I'm going to go over moving from California, coming to Tennessee. So from Nashville, let's lose the hat and get down to business. I'm Elisabetta Shia with Wiker Realtors, The Andrews Group, and I'm here to guide you home. I'm going to go over uh, several things and it's going to be more like talking to you guys about California and Tennessee. Uh, if you don't know, uh, there is a lot of people moving from California to Tennessee and also from upstate New York to Tennessee, from Illinois to Tennessee and why? Well, uh, there's a few things that I would love to go over with you. So maybe that will help you if you are on the verge of considering Tennessee and the Nashville surrounding as your next home. The first thing I'm going to cover in today's video is the weather. The weather in Tennessee is definitely very different than the weather in California. Los Angeles is known to have pretty much 365 days a year of summer. And in Tennessee, in Nashville, it's definitely not like that. We have the four seasons, so we can go from a phenomenal fall with all the you know changes in the leaves and the colors to a very, very, incredible all blooming springs like we have right now but also we have a pretty hot and humid summer and uh, cold temperatures during the winter i truly love having the four season and i think you might enjoy it as well so there you have it the weather in tennessee it's different than the weather in california but it's also a lot of fun Next thing I'm going to talk is like the quality of life. Definitely Nashville is a much smaller town and city than LA, New York, Chicago. So you still have the feel of being in a city with, uh, you know, um, high rise building and a beautiful skyline downtown, uh, with incredible nightlife and restaurants and rooftop patio. And especially now that's a lot of people are moving here. The city is growing with more and more projects and more and more amenities that, uh, they're going to be offered to us. So um, that's what I wanted to tell you, though, that even though the city is very big, uh, just 10 minutes, 15 minutes outside of what we consider downtown, you still have that feeling of being in a countryside. You have like big homes, big lots that you can enjoy all year around with your family. Uh, quality of life, you're going back forget, you know, I remember the nightmare of being stuck in traffic in LA pretty much every day going from just my home to do some grocery. Here is very different. Yes, we do have rush hour, but it's not like nothing like LA. Trust me, and you know, I am from LA, so I can definitely testify that you're going to take like a deep breath of relief when you get here and you do not have to deal with that heavy traffic every single day. Uh, quality of life means also cost of living, which is less uh, for several reasons, uh, but just grocery is cheaper. Um, register your car is cheaper. Car insurance is cheaper. Everything that you know you are going to need when you move out here is going to be cheaper. If you're moving with a family with kids. Also, I want to point out that the school system here, public school, are uh, one of the highest school, uh, highest rated school in the country. So uh, you know there is a lot to be said about that. And 
And linked to the quality of life, of course, we're going to talk about taxes. California taxes are insane, we all know. And uh, one of the things, and actually they're growing and they're putting more and they're making things more complicated for people that uh, live there. And uh, let me tell you, by moving from California to Tennessee, the savings that we're having because Tennessee states that no, does not have state taxes is huge. So it's like consider giving yourself around a 20, 25% rate without changing anything about the quality of your life. So this is a definitely a big plus that I will say put Tennessee up here and California down here. And of course, I cannot forget the price of gas. Uh, the price of gas here in uh, Tennessee, uh, especially in the Nashville, greater Nashville area, the, just the area that I cover as a realtor here, uh, averaged around, I would say, $2.4, $2.5 it went up a little bit compared to last year, but it's still way cheaper than California, where is, I will say, almost double. This is the next uh, like topic that I'm gonna cover. I get asked a lot, do you miss all the yummy foods and restaurants that you were able to you know, go and experience in, in Los Angeles? And I'm like, um, really? Not that much. Like I, uh, I've been here in Tennessee for four years, almost four years now, and I still have such a long list of restaurants, cafe that I still want to try. That you know, it takes just some time to you know go and experience them all, and they keep on coming. Like there's new restaurants, really good restaurants coming on you know every month. So. Me and my husband are definitely foodies and we love to go and experience new restaurants. That's one of our favorite thing. I guess being an Italian, I got that from my dad. My dad's favorite thing to do was going out and experience new restaurants and we'll take the family after he tested it. So it was just so a lot of fun. So I guess that runs in my genes and Nashville definitely do not disappoint. The next topic that I'm going to cover is of course the ocean. We don't have the ocean here in Nashville. We are an inland state. So, but we do have a lot of lakes and a lot of life on the water. Uh, I'm just gonna share a fan fact with you. We have um, dearest family member coming to visit us for a 4th of July. We ended up renting a boat. We were on the water the whole day, fishing, cooking, drinking. It was just a lot, a lot of fun. And that is something that you can do literally no matter where you land here in Nashville, probably 20 minutes from you, there is water and you can go and you can enjoy a day on the water. But also, um, let's not forget that we do have an international airport here in Nashville. So you can fly literally uh, to Florida for a weekend of fun at the beach in about an hour and 15 minutes. You can also fly to the Caribbean uh, uh, from Nashville. Maybe you have a layover in Atlanta, but in a matter of few hours, you are in the Caribbean. And if you don't mind driving, like I think the first oceanfront that we have, it, it's about like six hours from here. So it's completely doable. Um, you can just hop in the car early in the morning, get by the beach in the afternoon, and just enjoy a long weekend with family and friends on the water. Another subject I'm going to cover is entertainment. Coming from Los Angeles, obviously there is a lot going on there in terms of concerts, shows, uh, plays, you know. It's kind of the center of the entertainment, but Nashville is just taking over in my humble opinion. We have so much of that and things are happening again. They're opening up again. I'm so happy to say that in Nashville, we have one of the biggest 4th of July celebrations with like this like, um, you know, incredible uh, fireworks on the river with the orchestra. And uh, last year, because of coronavirus, we didn't get to get it. But this year, it's already been announced that we're going to have it. And of course, we have Stadium for Sports. And plus, is Music City. So if you love live music, you can go down to Broadway and literally hop from one building to the next and just listen to amazing musicians performing live. I think coming from from LA to Nashville, you're not gonna miss anything. Actually, I think you might even find Nashville offering a little bit more than we think 
we're gonna get in the way. Another thing that I get asked a lot is like, how is like, you know, the job situation? Uh, if I move and I quit my job, do you think I'm gonna be able to get another job in uh, Nashville? And I'm like, obviously I can say yes or no, but I can just look at the statistics and the numbers and just what has been happening in this town for the last few years. It's a booming economy here. There is like new jobs hitting the market pretty much every day. There is a lot of big corporation that had moved their headquarters here in town. If you come here, I think job opportunities are going to be a whole lot with way less competition that you will have normally in California, especially in Los Angeles. And of course, I'm going to talk about the price of real estate. Uh, as you know, I'm a realtor here in Nashville with Wiker Realtors, the Andrews Group, and I'm also a relocation specialist. So uh, I've been relocating a lot of people from out of town, from California a lot, but also from other states here in Nashville. And uh, uh, the price of real estate obviously compares to LA or even like New York, Chicago. I'm mentioning LA because this video shares my personal experience of having uh, um, you know, lived in California for 15 years and then moving here to Nashville for the last four. So I can say that you can afford much more house, quote unquote, so square footage with a bigger lot, bigger space for the money that you, uh, you know, you will have to spend in California. But also, taxes, property taxes are going to be probably about one third of what you are used to pay in California. So again, a big, big saving. This brings today's video to an end. I hope this was helpful. If you are thinking about moving from California, Los Angeles to Nashville, Tennessee, I did that four years ago and just do not hesitate to get in touch with me. All my contacts are below and also do not forget to subscribe for future videos. All right, guys, I am going to put my hat back on and give you my goodbyes. I'm Elizabeth Sheehan with Weicker Realtors, The Andrews Group, and I'm here to get you home.